Who was the true king of the ancient oceans? For years, that title belonged to the giant shark Megalodon. But imagine a different kind of contender, not a shark, but a massive whale with the most lethal set of teeth to ever grace our planet. This is the story of Leviathan Melville, a predator with perfect biological weapons, 14 inch long teeth, and a jaw powerful enough to crush bone. The fight for supremacy between Leviathan and Megalodon was a given, but which monster truly held the upper hand? The answer to this epic battle and the secret behind Leviathan's existence was buried in the harsh deserts of Peru, waiting for a discovery that would change natural history forever. In the year 2008, paleontologists working in Peru's scorching Pisco formation made a discovery that would rewrite our understanding of ancient ocean predators. The team, led by Dr. Christian de Muison from the Natural History Museum in Paris, was exploring the coastal desert 22 miles southwest of Ica when researcher Klaas Post from the Natural History Museum Rotterdam stumbled upon something extraordinary on the final day of their field trip. What emerged from the desert sands was a nearly complete skull with massive teeth still intact, preserved in conditions that paleontologists dream about. The Pisco formation had already earned its reputation for exceptional fossil preservation, but this discovery was different. The skull structure was unmistakably cetacean, yet the teeth were too large for any known whale species. These weren't the simple peg-like teeth of modern sperm whales or the baleen filters of modern giants. Instead, the team was looking at thick enamel coated weapons with an interlocking design that belonged in the mouth of a prehistoric nightmare. The initial confusion was understandable. No whale in the scientific record had ever possessed teeth of this magnitude and design. The painstaking excavation process began immediately with the team working methodically to expose more of the skull. Each brushstroke revealed additional details that deepened the mystery. The temporal muscles were massive, the jaw structure robust, and the teeth were embedded deep in the gums with an interlocking design that suggested something completely unprecedented in whale evolution. As more of the specimen emerged designated as holotype MUSM 1676, the excitement among the researchers grew exponentially. The moment scientists measured the teeth and understood their implications changed everything. These weapons stretched up to 14 inches in length, making them the largest biting teeth ever discovered from any animal. The enamel coating was thick and durable, designed to withstand the crushing forces needed to shear through flesh and bone. The jaw structure supported these massive teeth with temporal muscles that dwarfed those of any modern whale. This discovery proved that ancient whales could be active hunters of other whales, fundamentally changing our understanding of marine predator evolution. Lambert and his colleagues formally described this remarkable genus after the initial fieldwork naming it Liviatan Melville, after the biblical sea monster, and author Herman Melville. The carefully preserved skull now housed in the Museum of Natural History at the National University of San Marcos in Lima revealed a predator designed for one purpose, turning other marine mammals into prey. But the true extent of these weapons' deadly capabilities was only beginning to be understood. No predator in Earth's history has ever possessed teeth quite like Liviatans, and the numbers will shock you. The largest recorded tooth measured an impressive 14.25 inches in length, making these weapons the biggest biting teeth of any known animal, excluding tusks. To put this in perspective, that's longer than a standard school ruler and represents a completely different evolutionary strategy built for active predation rather than suction feeding. While Megalodon's triangular teeth were designed for slicing through flesh like serrated blades, Liviatan's teeth served a different purpose entirely. Liviatan's dental arsenal was uniquely engineered for gripping and tearing chunks of flesh from struggling marine mammals. 
The wear patterns observed on these teeth reveal a shearing action during biting, indicating their ability to tear off substantial portions of flesh from prey. The deeply embedded and interlocking nature of these weapons provided a secure grip that was crucial for holding onto massive, struggling whales. The enamel coating on these teeth was remarkably thick and durable, unlike the simple peg-like teeth of modern sperm whales that are designed merely for grasping slippery squid. Liviatan's teeth were reinforced with cementum that was added throughout the animal's life, creating weapons that could withstand the crushing forces needed to tear through flesh and bone. The front teeth projected forward at a 45 degree angle with deep embedding and interlocking, providing an unbreakable grip on prey. The jaw structure supporting these massive weapons was equally impressive. The most robust teeth were the fourth, fifth and sixth teeth on each side of the jaw, suggesting these were the primary tools for subduing prey. The tooth sockets themselves were substantial with the fourth socket in the upper jaw, reaching a diameter of approximately 7.75 inches, the largest of any known whale species. The snout was short and thick, allowing for a stronger clamping action to handle struggling prey, while the upper jaw was particularly thick in the mid-snout region. This bite force could crush bones and tear through blubber with devastating efficiency. The wide temporal muscles and robust mandible generated crushing power that could process prey weighing several tons. The asymmetrical snout design with the right maxilla slightly convex and the left maxilla slightly concave may have further enhanced the bite's effectiveness by creating additional leverage during attacks. These weren't just teeth, they were precision instruments of destruction. But even these devastating weapons weren't Liviatan's only advantage in the ancient oceans. Leviathan possessed a biological sonar system more advanced than modern military technology. The supracranial basin that spanned the entire length of its snout housed one of nature's most sophisticated hunting instruments, the spermaceti organ. This massive structure filled with oil and wax reservoirs separated by connective tissue functioned as both a navigation tool and communication system, giving Liviatan capabilities that no other predator of its time could match. The spermaceti organ in Liviatan works similarly to modern sperm whales creating sound waves for echolocation that allowed precise navigation and prey detection. While today's sperm whales use their spermaceti primarily for deep sea diving and squid hunting, Liviatan's hunting strategy required a completely different approach. The organ structure was uniquely adapted for active predation in shallow to mid-depth waters where it would encounter other whales rather than deep sea cephalopods. This adaptation made Liviatan's echolocation system far more versatile than anything we see in modern cetaceans. The supracranial basin itself was deep and wide with antorbital notches positioned inside the basin rather than on the sides of the skull. This unique arrangement suggests that the spermaceti organ played a crucial role not just in echolocation but potentially in communication as well. The system could pinpoint prey from great distances by generating sound waves and listening for returning echoes allowing Liviatan to track targets with remarkable precision even in murky waters where vision was useless. The echolocation abilities went beyond simple navigation and hunting. Research suggests that Livia Tan may have used acoustic displays for communication between individuals, potentially allowing coordinated hunting strategies that multiplied their effectiveness. Some evidence indicates possible acoustic stunning capabilities, though this remains unproven. The spermaceti organ's primary proven functions were biosonar navigation and prey detection, making Liviatan an incredibly effective hunter in dark waters. These sophisticated hunting abilities made Liviatan such a dominant predator that it could successfully hunt across vast marine territories. The combination of precise ecolocation tracking and advanced communication created a predator that could hunt successfully in conditions where other apex predators would struggle. This technological advantage would prove crucial for maintaining dominance across enormous distances. 
The fossil record reveals that Leviathan didn't just rule one ocean, it dominated marine ecosystems across the entire planet. The widespread distribution of Leviathan Melvilli fossils across multiple continents tells a remarkable story of global conquest that paleontologists are still working to understand. From the original discovery site in Peru to fossil sites in Chile, Argentina, the United States, South Africa and Australia, this wasn't a localized species confined to one region. Instead, Leviathan represents a dominant apex predator that exerted influence over marine ecosystems worldwide during the Miocene and possibly into the Pliocene epochs. The question becomes Fascinating when you consider how one predator could maintain such a vast territory and what this meant for ancient marine ecosystems. Modern great white sharks migrate thousands of miles, but maintaining apex predator status across multiple oceans requires extraordinary capabilities. Liviatan's global presence suggests migration patterns and hunting behaviors that allowed it to travel vast distances while continuing to dominate wherever it went. The fossil discoveries paint a picture of worldwide dominance that's hard to ignore. In Peru, Chile and Argentina, specimens dating from approximately 9.9 .9 to 8.9 .9 million years ago established the initial evidence of these massive predators. South Africa and Australia provided compelling evidence with large, isolated teeth dating to around 5 million years ago, while California yielded specimens from 6.6 .6 to 5.8 million years ago. The California discovery was particularly significant as it represented the first evidence of a Liviatan-like whale in the Northern Hemisphere, challenging previous beliefs that these predators were restricted to the Southern Hemisphere. Large isolated teeth discovered worldwide indicate that Leviathan-like whales had a near global range documented across multiple geological formations on different continents. Australia's Bomari sperm whale specimen shares similarities with Leviathan melvilli, suggesting close relationships across vast oceanic distances. The fossil evidence proves that Leviathan was a wide-ranging apex predator that dominated marine ecosystems worldwide. This global network of terror meant that wherever Leviathan traveled, it would inevitably encounter other apex predators sharing the same waters. The stage was being set for confrontations that would determine the ultimate ruler of the ancient seas. When two apex predators share the same hunting grounds, conflict becomes inevitable. During the Miocene epoch, approximately 12 to 13 million years ago, Liviatan and Megalodon coexisted in the same waters, creating scenarios for some of the most epic battles in Earth's history. Both species occupied similar ecological niches as apex predators, primarily hunting large marine animals, which led to direct competition for the same prey. This overlap in habitat and dietary needs meant that encounters between these titans weren't just possible they were unavoidable. Megalodon possessed several crucial advantages that made it a formidable opponent. The giant shark's highly attuned sense of smell, excellent vision, and ability to detect electrical fields from prey via the ampullae of Lorenzini gave it a significant edge in locating and tracking targets. Its triangular teeth designed specifically for cutting through flesh could inflict deep debilitating wounds with surgical precision. Megalodon's attack strategy relied on its slicing teeth to cause severe bleeding and weaken prey through blood loss. Liviatan countered with a completely different set of advantages centered around endurance and brute force. Liviatan's size and inferred musculature suggest sustained swimming speed comparable to modern sperm whales, allowing it to pursue prey over long distances and wear them down through relentless pursuit. Those massive 14 inch teeth and powerful jaws were engineered for crushing bones and tearing through blubber, capable of inflicting trauma that could prove instantly fatal. This hunting strategy focused on pursuit and overwhelming force with shearing teeth designed to tear off substantial chunks of flesh. The fossil evidence from geological formations like Peru's Pisco Formation confirms that these titans shared the same habitat, making violent encounters not just possible, but likely. 
The presence of both species in identical rock layers indicates they hunted in the same waters during the same time periods, creating countless opportunities for territorial disputes and prey competition. Liviatan's mammalian stamina and intelligence provided crucial advantages that cold-blooded sharks simply couldn't match. The whale's warm-blooded metabolism meant it could sustain intense physical activity far longer than its shark opponent. This endurance advantage paired with those bone-crushing teeth suggests that in direct confrontations, the whale often held the upper hand. Yet even the most dominant predators would prove vulnerable to forces beyond their control. The cooling climate at the end of the Miocene epoch spelled doom for Liviatan and fundamentally changed the entire marine ecosystem balance. By the early Pliocene, approximately 5 million years ago, global temperatures dropped, significantly triggering a cascade of changes that would prove fatal to these apex predators. The cooling oceans caused a dramatic shift in marine life, leading to an increase in the size but a decrease in the diversity of baleen whales that served as Liviatan's primary food source. This niche collapse forced Liviatan into co-extinction with the smaller whales it depended upon. The paleontological lesson remains clear. Even the most powerful apex predators succumb to rapid environmental shifts that reshape their world beyond recognition.